Hello Wobblies! I'm Chris with Wobbly Otter Outdoors and this is a review of the Texport Kangaroo 5-piece mess kit. The Texport Kangaroo comes with a mesh outer bag which I have repurposed. There's an elastic band that goes over the top of the mess kit and attaches to two little slots that are on either side. It has a fry pan with a handle attachment, a little bowl, a one and a half cup cup, the handle, and the little pot. It's a one quart pot. The pot and its lid are made of aluminum. It's covered with a non-stick coating. On the bottom of the pot are rings, and this gives extra grip when you put it on top of a little rocket stove or any type of stove. On either side of the pot are tabs. These are made so the handle can latch into it. Because there is a tab, on either side. It is possible with this pot to put some sort of metal or strap on it and use it to suspend it over a campfire if you wish. The lid doubles as a fry pan in itself as a place where you can attach the handle. The little lid which doubles as a fry pan also has textured rings around it to help keep it from slipping off of a stove. The cup and the bowl are plastic. The cup measures up to one and a half cups by quarter cups with little marks on the inside. Because those little marks on the inside can be difficult to see depending on the light and everything, I have adapted it with Sharpie so that I can see and read what the levels are when looking from the inside. If you're looking to carry a fuel canister with you, the little 110 gram canister will fit inside with the lid shut. and it will fit inside with the handle in it as well. The larger 220 gram canister will not fit inside with the lid closed. Just doesn't quite make it. Now while this is the mess kit that I'm carrying in my pack right now, I realize that there are some considerations I need to make when using it. Because it's aluminum instead of stainless steel, it isn't as durable in really high heat. Now most of the time I'm going to be using on top of a stove of some sort. Probably on top of a little propane stove or a butane propane mix stove. Something like that. As long as I don't use it on top of a roaring hot fire, I think I can use it and keep it from warping. There are a few reasons I chose this little set. One is that it's a relatively low profile, top to bottom, height top to bottom. It is just under three and a half inches high with the lid on it. And it's a little bit wider, I think, than my Coleman mess kit. At its widest, it is eight inches. It weighs 18.9 ounces. The reasons I like those dimensions are it gives me a little bit wider base, so I don't have to worry about it tipping over as much, and the lower profile fits inside my pack better. Another deciding factor for me on this kit are the ridges that are on the bottom of the fry pan lid and the pot. Sometimes your camp stove isn't going to be exactly level and it's nice to have that little extra bit of texture to keep it from falling off the stove. And the final reason that I chose it is the non-stick coating. When we're out camping, it just is much easier to get a non-stick surface clean. I mentioned that the little mesh bag it comes in has, has been repurposed and that was on purpose. Because I may be using it on a fire, I made a little sleeve for it to put it in a little bag so that it won't get soot and stuff on the inside of my pack. I also made a sleeve for the handle. The handle is smooth and it's nicely coated but there is a chance that it can scratch the pot and as a matter of fact it did make a little not all the way through the coating scratch but a little scuff so i made this little sleeve to slide the handle in to keep from scratching the inside the cup and the bowl nest inside and 
and the little elastic strap goes across and connects in the other side. Now let's go see the capacity of the pot and its lid. The Texport Kangaroo is listed as a one quart set. Here we have a Nalgene bottle with 32 ounces of water in it. The larger pot in the set clearly holds the 32 ounces with room to spare. Here we have the lid slash fry pan and an algae bottle again with 32 ounces of water. I don't think you'd want to fill it that full, but the lid itself will hold almost the full 32 ounces as well. Thank you for watching and subscribing and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.